Hey everyone, today we're making some curry chicken quesadillas with some sauteed zucchini and carrots for some really delicious flavor. It is super easy to make. We're gonna be making this in a pressure cooker. Now, if you don't have a pressure cooker, don't fret. You can always make it you know, in a couple of other ways that I'm gonna explain just a little bit later. The curry chicken is great for meal prep. It, you can make just an infinite number of different recipes with it. Uh, specifically, let me mention just some Mexican ones. You could do tacos one night. You could do quesadillas like we're gonna do today, or you can make burritos. I also have a coconut rice recipe that I'll leave a link for down in the description for you. And you could serve it with that, and it is so delicious. So you have so many options with this. That's what's great about it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. All right, so here's chef joke number one. Why does a chicken coop have two doors? Because if it had four doors, it would be called a chicken sedan. <laughs> so I wanna start off by talking about how we're gonna cook this. I'm gonna use a pressure cooker. I got the Instant Pot here. And if you don't have one, like I said, don't worry. You, if you have a slow cooker, that will work. You could put it in on that. Everything like I'm going to show you here, you just put it into the slow cooker and cook it on high for four hours or low for say eight hours. That would, that would take care of it. Let's say you don't have either one of those. What are you going to do? Well, a good old handy stock pot. Everybody has one of those, right? Put everything in that and you'll just simmer it covered partially for at least an hour, but probably an hour and a half. Very simple. The benefit to using a pressure cooker is my chicken is going to come out nice and tender in about 30 to 35 minutes. So we're gonna be using some boneless, skinless chicken thighs right here, and we're gonna place those into the pressure cooker. And then for our spices, I've got some ground turmeric here, and I'm gonna place a half a teaspoon into the chicken. And you always wanna add pepper, black pepper, to uh, any, anything you're using turmeric in to help with the absorption of it. I'm going to place some salt and some ground cumin, ground coriander. I'm using dried basil and some dried parsley. And then we're going to add some chicken broth to this. And you need about a cup. You just want to cover it. That's about all you need. So we're going to cook this on pressure cooker for about 35 minutes. So while our chicken is cooking, we are going to prepare our zucchini. So I'm going to just cut off the ends. I'm going to cut it in half just to make it easier. And then I'll cut it in half again and then cut some strips. Now the carrot, of course, we'll just peel it. And you can just take a grater and grate your own. All right, let's take these over and cook them up. All right, we've got our frying pan here over medium-high heat, and I'm gonna place some olive oil in the pan. And in goes our zucchini and carrots. I'm going to season these with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and some garlic powder. All right, so I'm going to turn up my heat just a little bit more because I want these to get really cooking. All right, I'm going to put a lid on this for just a couple minutes and let it, let it go. All right, take the lid off. Give this a little turn. You can see we got a lot of caramelization going on here. That means flavor. So these are about done. The veggies are done, so we're going to turn off the heat and we're going to place them in the back of the stove and put a lid on them to keep them warm. I did not forget chef joke number two. So here we go. What is a chicken's favorite instrument? Anything with drumsticks. The chicken is done, so I'll go ahead and release the pressure on the pressure cooker. And I like to use either a knife or a spoon or even a wooden spoon to release the pressure just because it could burn you, so that keeps you safe. Remember, you don't want to release your lid until that indicator here is down, which indicates that there's no more pressure in the, in the pot. 
There it goes, it drops down. Now it's safe to open. So take a couple of forks and go ahead and shred the chicken. It should fall apart easily. I'm gonna pour the chicken out into this dish so you can get a better look at it. If you're finding this video helpful or useful in some way, let me know by smashing the old like button. Now we're gonna need a little cheese for our quesadilla, of course. And I like to grate my own, it only takes a couple of seconds. And the reason for that is when you buy your cheese already grated, it contains you know, anti-mold uh, ingredients and anti-caking ingredients. And I'm like, just give me some cheese. <laughs> so that's why I do my own. Okay, it's time to put this thing together. So I'm gonna start off with, I got my flour tortilla here, and I'm only gonna use put food on half of it because it's pretty big. So for today's demonstration, I'm just doing a half. I'll just fold this over. And I'm putting just a little bit of cheese down first because what I want it to do is act like a glue to keep everything together so when I flip it, it's not gonna fly out. Okay, so I'm using tongs to get my chicken out of here because I don't want too much juice on my quesadilla. So I'm just gonna spread this around. Next, we'll add a layer of our sauteed zucchini and carrots and spread it over the top. You can easily make this a gluten-free recipe by using siete almond flour tortillas or any other gluten-free tortilla. Then I'll finish it off with a nice layer of some cheddar cheese. So let's take this over to the stove and get it cooking. All right, I got a nice little pan here heating up over medium-low heat, and I'm gonna take a little bit of butter here and place it on the pan. I like to use butter just because the flavor, I think, makes the best quesadillas, and it browns up nicely. And then I'll just set this right, right on there, just like that. And I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna put a very thin layer of butter on top just so it can start to melt and soften up. Not too much, guys, just a little bit of flavor. Now what I like to do sometimes is to take a lid of any kind and just kind of place it over the top the best you can. That's going to help keep the heat in and it'll melt the cheese quicker and everything gets hot faster. Once the quesadilla gets golden brown like this, then you're ready to flip it over. All right, let's serve this up. Look at this golden brown buttery crust. It is delicious. This is quesadilla perfection. It's cheesy, it's buttery, it's delicious. And you can garnish it up with some dollops of sour cream and avocado slices like I've done here. And if you want to make this low carb, you can leave out the tortilla and just serve it up like this. If you like turmeric, I've got a ice cream called golden milk ice cream that you might want to try. Look at this. It's delicious, creamy, everything you'd want in an ice cream to cool your day off with a healthy twist. And if you're enjoying this video today, go ahead and smash the like button for me. Leave me a comment and we'll see you right back here next week with another delicious recipe.